Hi, I'm Danny Schimberg, and the article I chose comes from Adweek and is titled, Dave and Busters has big TVs, and here's a banana to prove it. So this new marketing initiative that Dave and Busters has come up with involved dropping a 40-foot inflatable banana in Los Angeles to show how big their wow wall is, which consists of nine TVs. So these TVs normally have a bunch of different sporting events on them that their customers are able to watch while they play games at their arcade. Um, Dave and Busters developed this new initiative based on a trend where people would take pictures of items and then use a banana uh, to show the size of that item in the picture. And the trend was called banana for scale. Um, they thought this new trend or this uh, new initiative would be a good idea because it was trendy. It was unique. Not a lot of people w are using um, trends and funny memes to uh, advertise their products. And uh, it's also showed off some of their best uh, assets, which is their uh, large screen TVs. Um, also, Dave and Buster's released a new Instagram filter where people are able to drop bananas into their pictures. And this was supposed to continue with their ding 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 campaign where uh, their customers are supposed to get really excited and it's supposed to resemble the atmosphere that an arcade gives off. So I thought this was really interesting because I had never heard of the banana for scale trend before. And I think it just shows how uh, certain companies are, or how Dave and Buster's are targeting the younger audience and younger generations that are focused on social media and use that a lot. So um, the questions that I had for you are, have you heard of banana for scale trend before? And um, do you think that marketing towards funny memes and trends are uh, a good and effective marketing strategy? Thank you.